making a good machine tool better with Renishaw. Today I have the pleasure to be at Renishaw HQ to look at and investigate the new Fortis technology, encoders. Corey, encoders, why have you entered this market space? Encoders have been around for many years now, so what benefits have you brought to the industry? Yeah, so, so Renishaw's been a famous supplier of, of encoders um, into electronics industry, semiconductor industry, and uh, linear stage manufacturing for, for decades. Um, and we decided that we wanted to take that technology and bring it into the Renishaw heartland business of machine tools. And so that's what led us to developing the Fortis encoder. Tell me more about the Fortis encoder. What benefits is it actually bringing to engineers that are currently using old technology encoders? Exactly. Well, when, when we started this project, we started off with market research and talked to um, the customers the, who we were targeting with this product. The, the feedback they had was that the linear encoders, or linear scales as some people call them, uh, they're really good for metrology, but they have three major drawbacks. They're really hard to install. If you shake them a bit, they fall apart and they always leak. So these are the three parts. Now, tell me a little bit more about the third part. They always leak. How do you address this? Yeah, exactly. So what we've done is we, we actually spent five years developing a, a lip seal material in conjunction with our supplier. So many iterations to get to that, that point there. Um, and what we're trying to achieve was something which would um, provide better mechanical wear resistance, that would seal better around the, the retail blade and provide uh, longer reliability under the harsh chemical attack that you get from modern coolants where they're really highly chlorinated and they've got very very aggressive uh, chemical content within them. So you've really invested heavily into the sealing of the encoders. Now Renishaw have also invested heavily into the, the air purge um, and how does this give the end user flexibility that maybe they didn't otherwise have in the past. Exactly. Well, the benefits of these seals are so great that the, uh, it allows us to take a more flexible approach to the use of an air purge. So um, there's a lot of discussion on this subject right now because an air purge can give you some really nice reliability benefits. You imagine if contamination tries to get past the lip seals, the air purge just blows it straight back out again. So it's providing a compressed kind of compressed air, positive pressure inside the center of the encoder. So um, the, the downside to, to that air purge is you have to pay out for a filter um, and the, more importantly than that there's a cost, a cost element in terms of the, the price of electricity to provide the air purge and also the, the carbon footprint which is obviously high on everyone's minds right now. So what we've done with our lip seals is we've been so successful with that, that sealing of the encoder that actually we're already 70% re reduced the amount of air that our air purge requires compared to their competition. So the competition's running at about seven to 10 liters per minute of air, and we run at two liters per minute of air. So that means that somebody already has got a 70% reduction in that energy cost and that carbon footprint. That's a massive saving straight away. Now, the flexibility of, of using different um, air purge pressures um, for different axes of the machine tool. Yeah. How does this work? Exactly. So, you know, not every machine is the same. And even in terms of design layout or the application for which they are intended. You've got some examples of machines where they're going to be very high use of coolants um, or maybe a machine in particularly aggressive um, work pieces. So, uh, machines which are uh, machining ceramics, for example. In those cases there, you're going to want to use a full air purge, you know, and if this example here, if I look at the y-axis on this machine, it's mounted really high up inside the machine. So it's going to receive a very small amount of contamination over its lifetime. In that case there, I'd be very happy to recommend to the customer to say to them, you know, you don't need the full one bar of pressure. You can turn it down to half bar or even quarter a bar of pressure. And if you get down to a quarter of a bar of air pressure, I've got all the benefits. I've got, in effect, that insurance policy that an air purge provides, but my 70% reduction now goes up to 91% reduction 
function and yet it's easy for a customer to achieve and it's it's not putting an undue level of responsibility onto the machine builder which is unattainable. So effectively you're giving engineers flexibility dependent on their machine tool or application. Exactly right, exactly what we're doing. So we're encouraging people to come to us and talk to us and have that conversation. It's not just a binary decision, there's different stages that you can go to and we're helping to support that. Now worst case scenario, the, the encoder did get contaminated. How how would you overcome that? What ace would you have up your sleeve? Yeah, that's right. The, the ace we've got up our sleeve is actually that we sealed up the reed head. So we don't have a wheeled carriage, which is impossible to, to clean out properly. We've got a fully sealed reed head, so you can whip off the end cap, slide out the reed head, clean off the reed head, clean out the rest of the encoder, and recover the encoder, reassemble it, and it's a quick and simple process for, for people to do. And again, is that completely innovative? That, that's something that we're the only people who are able to do that right now. And it's, it's because of the, the way the configuration of the encoder is. We've got this reflective scale rather than a transmissive glass scale. We've got um, this fully sealed up reed head inside there and we've done away with the need for a wheeled carriage inside the encoder. Excellent. Now finally, the Mazak Variaxis C600 has been, in, uh, been installed with your uh, Fortis encoder. How does it work hand in hand with other Renishaw products? Exactly. The, the, this encoder, the, we, we say that linear scales are part of the process foundation. So you've probably seen the Renishaw process pyramid. Um, by providing a more stable environment in which the process is going to be taking place, it means that I increase the fidelity of the other layers on top, higher up in that process pyramid. So it means that your, your quality of probing is improved um, and it means that your tool set is going to be working better and allows you to more greatly pursue the aims of lights out machining um, and to reduce your cost of manufacturing and you know, effectively reduce the opportunity for producing scrap. Corey, thank you very much. There you have it, the Fortis from Renishaw. Lots of savings to be had. Contact Renishaw to find out more.